So those are the five numbers I was going to try to add together, and that equals 409. Math Rye. Math Rye. Quadratic formula. Wait, how does that go again? Oh yeah, I got it. All right, so this is how you say it. X equals negative B. Welcome to Math Rob, where we develop your conceptual understanding, your procedural fluency, and your critical thinking skills to help you become one step closer to success. My name is Orrin, and today we are working in the GED Kaplan practice test. Let's do this. Okay, so this is for mathematics. Um, I, I'm thinking, well, I, I think I'll do the other subjects later, but I'm just try, trying these things out. This is more than fun for me, okay? Um... Last time we did number six, it was really quick, really easy, um, just seeing which one was the larger number. Let's see if number seven will be the same way. Um, so you all, you will watch how I think, you watch how I think critically. I will, I have not seen these qu questions ahead of time, I have not seen the answers ahead of time. So you are timed on your GED test, I recommend that you use all your time because you paid for all your time. So use all your time effectively. When you are done with your test, go back and check the ones that were a little more difficult for you. That's my recommendation. That's what I still would say that you should do. Let's look at the number seven. Pause the video right now to try number seven for yourself if you can see it. Uh, it's a little it's a little blurred off, off to the side, but it's not too bad. All right. <clears throat> Number seven, Brad's average golf score after six rounds was 81. For the first five rounds, his scores were 78, 86, 82, 81, and 82. What was his score on the sixth round? Write your answer in the box below. All right, so a key word in this problem here is average, okay? Average. We, we find the average of, you know, some numbers and stuff. So it says that he, he played, played six rounds of golf and he got an average. When you find the average of something, you add all your numbers up. Okay, so it's a bunch of, you know, you're adding all these numbers up. Might as well try that right now. And you are dividing by how many numbers there are. So there are six rounds here and we're going to add up all his scores. So his first score was a 78. The second score was an 86. You will you need your calculator for this one. Uh, just letting you know. Third one's 82. Fourth one's 81. Fifth one was 82. And your sixth course is the one that we're looking for. It said, what was his score on his sixth round? So I'm going to put an X right there because I don't know. Now, another number that we have is I put an equal because we, we, ha we know what our average is for this one. It says his average was 81. So, I'm going to put an 81 right here. <clears throat> okay, so I set up the problem because I knew what, how to find an average and I knew what the answer was, all that kind of stuff. Or the average was, at least. I don't know what that X is. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to combine all these numbers together. I'm going to combine all my numbers in the numerator together. Not the X, but all the ones that are like terms. Now, everything, that, everything up there is the like terms, so I'm going to add them all up together. So, let's see what happens when I do that. You have 78. I'm typing it in my calculator right now. I guess, since you're watching me like this, I can actually... Um, well, I guess I can't. I can't do that. Uh, let's see. I, I, I do want to just put it on the calculator. I'm going to use the Desmos calculator for this one. You're going to... Okay, well, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to go and use my TI calculator. I just popped it up. And you can see that right here. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to let that sit there. And I'm going to add my values up that I was given. Uh, let's see. So I have 78 plus 86 plus 82 plus 81 plus 82. So those are the five numbers I was going to try to add together, and that equals 409. Okay, so let's get back to it. This, that was 409. So 
409 plus x over 6 equals 81. Now our next step here, now my next step here, took a while to populate, is to uh, get x by itself, okay, to get x on one side of the equal sign by itself. <clears throat> so in order to do that, I'm going to take this 6 and move it over to this side. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I work with the stuff that's furthest away from the x on the same side of the x. I'm working with the stuff that's furthest away to move it on over. Because this is the, the 6 is dividing all this stuff, I'm going to multiply 6 on both sides. You already see 81 times 6, and you get a little scared. Yes, I, I feel the same, the same thing. But I can cancel my 6s on the side with the x now. So this leaves me with 409 plus x equals 81 times 6. I'm typing this one in my calculator uh, in, by hand. I'm, I'm sorry. I, typing it in on the computer. A lot. Okay, 486 is that answer. 486. All right, let's see if I can move this stuff out the way. Just, just a smidge. Slide over a little bit. Yep. All right, 486. <clears throat> now, the next thing I'm going to do is work with the 409, since it's the next thing with the x I need to get rid of. It's a positive 409. It's being added to the x. I'm going to subtract 409 from both sides. So, the 409 is on the side of the x cancel, leaving me with x equals 486 minus 409. If you type in your calculator correctly, you get x equals 77. And x equals 77 is going to go in your box. Or not even x equals 77. You can just type in 77. You, you're good with just that. They didn't tell you to type an x. So, or put an x. So 77 <coughs> is it. Thank you so much for your time. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like. Subscribe for notifications of more videos. My name is Oren. Thank you so much for your time. If you have a question, put it in the comment section below. Go to MathThrive.com to request tutoring. I enjoy this math stuff. So, you know, it's, it's great to talk about math. So, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. It's never too late. Go to MathThrive. Go to MathThrive. Go to MathThrive. Yeah.